What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at an app called Noisio. Now a while back I did a review on a website called Noisily, so very similar names, but basically what this website would do is play different sounds from like a coffee shop or rain, and they had tons of different options for you to play, and it would play in the background so that as you work you had this running and it could help you focus. Noisio is basically the app version of that. Now just before we get started, I'd like to say that Noisio is not paying me to make this review. My brother actually showed it to me on the App Store and I've been using it since and I loved it so much that I thought I'd make a video to share it with you guys. So they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. I just thought it was a cool app and wanted to share it. So now you can have the app show up in your dock but I have it hidden for now so it just rests in my menu bar. If I go ahead and click the icon here, you get a little window that will pop up. Now right off the bat you can go ahead and hit play and you can customize different sounds. You see they have a ton of different options. You can also see how clean and minimal the interface is. I really like this design style and as we go further along the video you'll see how easy the app is to use. So you can pause it, you can adjust audio levels for different parts of the mix. And of course I could add or remove different sounds. And once you get something that you like, you can actually hit save at the bottom left and you can create a mixture. And this is basically just a preset of sounds that you've made. So once I find that I like October Rain, Coffee House, and Campfire at those volumes, I can save it and call this October Coffee Fire because that's a creative name. You hit save and then if you go to your mixtures bar, you can actually view all of your different presets. Now what's really cool about this is, of course, you can play them if you want to go back to something or you can delete them but you can also hit share and you can send this to people so if you find something that's really cool and that's really helping you focus as you work and you, you know a friend who uses the app as well you can send it to them and you can even just send them a text with that preset now for you nerds out there this file comes in a .nzm format which I'm assuming is a specific file that they came up with so that when you open it it'll go ahead and add it to your mixtures. Now on the bottom right here we have a little dial icon. Now if we click on this we can set Noisio to stop at a certain time. So if you know you want to knock out some project or whatever and you want to work solidly for 45 minutes or an hour, you can set that time and then Noisio will automatically stop. And that's kind of helpful so you don't have to set a timer and you can just know that as soon as the background noise stops you get to stop working. And of course we have some options in the settings panel. We can control the master volume and we can enable to open at login, show it in the dock, and play after launch. That just means as soon as you open up the app, it's automatically going to start playing. Now, as usual, we have a variety of different shortcuts. Most of these are the shortcuts that it came with, but I've changed the toggle window to Command-Shift-N, which is um, N from Noisio. It helps me remember a little better. So if I hit Command-Shift-N now, you can see I can open it or close it. And if I hit Command-Shift-P, the audio will stop. And the two most important shortcuts, I think, are the volume up and down. And that's just command shift up and down on the arrow keys. And this is really nice because then you can change Noisio's volume but not your master computer volume. So guys, that is it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely go check out Noisio in the App Store. It is an awesome app and really fun to use. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. It is still readable on smaller devices on like an iPhone where the thumbnails are like super, super small and they're pretty much the size of your thumb.